Welcome learners. Today we want to look at uh, fractional distillation of liquid air, which is industrial manufacture of nitrogen, oxygen, or argon. Now first we look at the parts of the process, which is filters, absorption tower, coolers, compressor, fractional distillation chamber. A student is required to know the function of the parts and then description of the process. So the first part, air enters the filters, which is used to remove dust particles by a process called electrostatic precipitation. The remaining air is passed through absorption tower, which contains concentrated sodium hydroxide, which is used to absorb carbon dioxide gas. And then from there, the, air, the remaining air is passed through the coolers. The cooler removes water vapor in solid or ice form because the temperature in the cooler is negative 25 degrees Celsius which is below the melting point of water which is zero. Now there is a reason why you are told why is it necessary to remove carbon dioxide and water vapor before the fractional lesson takes place. The carbon dioxide and uh, Carbon dioxide and water vapor may solidify and cause blockage of pipes. Now the remaining air is passed through the compressor. The conditions of the compressor is temperature of negative 200 degrees Celsius and pressure of 200 atmosphere. So the role of the compressor is used to liquefy air and to remove neon and helium. So how is air liquefied? The residual air is compressed to about 200 atmospheres and allowed to cool. Repeated expansion and contraction of air at a temperature of negative 200 Celsius cools the air to liquid form. Now, the liquid air is then again pumped to the fractional distillation chamber whereby liquid air is heated then nitrogen at a low boiling point of negative 196 degrees Celsius distilled off first followed by argon the temperature the boiling point of negative 186 degrees Celsius and lastly oxygen with a boiling point of negative 183 degrees Celsius now, to describe this process, a student will have to describe like this. The description of this process is as follows. Air is passed through the filters to remove dust particles, and then through the absorption tower to absorb carbon dioxide using sodium hydroxide. And then air is again passed through the coolers to remove water vapor in ice form. Then the remaining air is liquefied at the compressor at a temperature of negative 200 degrees Celsius and pressure of 200 atmospheres. And then liquid air is heated in the fractional solution chamber so that the nitrogen, the low boiling point is still all fast, followed by argon, then lastly oxygen. Now the floor below shows industrial manufacture of nitrogen, oxygen, or argon. Now, the first part, air enters the filters here. From the filter, to remove dust particles, then through the absorption tower, which contains concentrated sodium hydroxide, used to remove carbon carbon dioxide. Then, through the coolers, the cooler at the temperature of negative 25 degrees Celsius removes water vapor in ice form. And then to the compressor at the, with the conditions of temperature of negative 200 and pressure of 200 atmospheres, which is used to liquefy air and also remove helium and neon. The remaining, which is liquid air, is pumped the fractional, the same chamber. Which where air is the liquid air is heated, nitrogen at low boiling point, distilled all first, followed by argon, then lastly oxygen. 
Uh, welcome. Here is uh, a sample question on uh, fractional distillation of liquidia. So you study the flow chart and answer the questions that follow. So we have air. Air is taken through the filtration and uh, purification chamber. Then from there, the air is taken through the compressor. Then from the compressor, you have the expansion engines of which it will liquefy the air. That's you have liquid air. The liquid air now is taken to the fractional distillation chamber, whereby we will get uh, three components. One uh, that has uh, a temperature of uh, negative 196 degrees Celsius. The other one negative 186 degrees Celsius. And the last one you have uh, negative 183 degrees Celsius. So the reason as to why they are taken through the filtration and the purification chamber is uh, to remove uh, dust particles in a process known as uh, electrostatic uh, precipitation. Then from there, before the air is taken through the compressor, it has to pass through the absorption tower, whereby in the absorption tower you have either concentrated sodium hydroxide or uh, potassium hydroxide. The role for that is uh, to remove or to absorb carbon dioxide gas. Uh, then from there, that air now is uh, taken uh, through the coolers, whereby the condition required in the coolers is uh, negative. 25 degrees uh, Celsius. So the role for that is uh, to remove uh, water vapor in form of uh, ice or solid. Then from there, the air now is taken through the compressor, whereby in the, compress in the compressor, uh, the conditions required one is uh, a pressure of uh, 200 atmospheres and uh, a temperature of uh, negative 200 degrees uh, Celsius. So the function of the expansion engine is uh, to expand and uh, contract the air into liquid form. In the process, it also removes uh, neon and helium. Then from there, the components that uh, remain in air are 1, nitrogen, 2, argon, 3, oxygen. So the mixture now has uh, different but closer boiling points. Therefore, we are able to separate them uh, using a fractional uh, distillation whereby uh, it will be heated now, the one that has the lowest boiling point, which is a uh, nitrogen that has a uh, negative 196 degrees Celsius, will distill off fast, followed by argon, which has uh, a boiling point of uh, negative 186 degrees uh, Celsius. And then lastly, oxygen is collected because it has the highest boiling point, which is a uh, negative 183 degrees uh, Celsius. So that's now the summary of the follow chat. Now let's go directly to the questions. Uh, question one, identify the substance removed in the filtration stage. Let me say uh, dust particles. Name the process that occurs in the filtration and purification chamber. The process is uh, electrostatic precipitation. Next question, explain why carbon dioxide and uh, water are removed before liquefaction of air. The reason for that is uh, both of them may solidify, uh, hence leading to blockage of the pipes. The last question, identify the component that is collected at a negative 183 degrees Celsius. That one is uh, oxygen gas because it has the highest boiling point, which is uh, negative 183 degrees Celsius. So that's the end of the question. Ensure that you do more revision on uh, fractional distillation of uh, liquid air. Thank you.